Hello everybody and welcome to some more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl here on the channel. This week it is Boombot versus Annoyotron, which is basically two decks based on each robot against each other, and we're gonna be hopping in. Kinda glad to see it's pre-made decks this time because I kinda have a limited selection that I can use, so it some of the Tavern Brawls tend to be a little more tedious than others, but this one should be fun. I have tried it once as I think Boombot and did pretty well looking to hopefully get one of each but probably play until we can get each robot to see how each one works and hopefully find there we go and hop right in it's going to be we're gonna be Boombot this time all right so the hero powers, Boombot basically gets to deal 2 damage split amongst random enemies while Annoyatron gets to give a taunt and divine shield to his lowest attack minion. We're going to be getting rid of both of those. Keep the Dark Bomb as something to clear a little off the board. Mech Warper might be good, might not. Would have been good to coin out turn 1 maybe, but we are going first so it doesn't look like we're going to have anything to use. Get a Light Bomb. Should be interesting. Whatever he plays, and then we might play Mech Warper against. He's going to coin out a Whirling Zapomatic. All right, and we will put out a Whirling Zapomatic of our own. Don't want to just throw the Mech Warper out there to die. See if he trades it in or if he goes. Oh, he's gonna do that. Alright, so maybe that wasn't the best idea, but we can still dark bomb it. To get it off the board, and I believe we will use a dark bomb if he wins here, he taunts down. So neither of us have anything on the board, but we have a Goblin Blast Mage, which if you have a mech deal 4 damage randomly split to all enemies. So we're going to probably wait until we can put down the Mech Warper or another mech out. Plays a Gnomish Infantry, which I am not afraid of playing a Mech Warper with. Dr. Boom, alright. And we will go ahead and throw out some bombs, deal 2 damage to him, so if he does attack the Mech Warper without wasting his hero power on the 1-2, then it will die. And then we could bring out the Pilot of the Sky Golem next turn for 4 or 5 mana. Which might just do that as opposed to playing the Goblin Blast Mage. Unless he kills it with his weapon. Which is very likely. We can have a minion with Taunt gain 1 durability. A King's Defender, alright. And he is going to attack. Okay. Hit us for one, not really afraid of that. And this should be his turn, yep. We get a Mechanical Yeti, which is a better alternative to playing the Blast Mage here. Because we'd like to have the mech out when we play it to do the output damage. Turn in the next turn, we have Sky Golem and a Light Bomb, which probably will not be played unless he does something crazy this turn. Which doesn't look like he. I don't know exactly know what's in the Annoyatron deck right now. It looks like a bunch of smaller taunt minions we've seen so far. He's able to get three to attack with the Blessing of Might to the Nomergon Infantry, and it looks like either he's going to hit it with a sword, or he's just going to trade the infantry into it, which... Attack us, alright. I really don't have much of a problem with. Use the Blast Mage, hopefully kill off the Taunt, and we can, and hit him twice. Do that, and do our Hero Power to deal two more damage to him. So we have a 5-4 and a 4-5 with Death Rattle to give us a spare part on the board, and he has nothing except for the 6 damage weapon. So he can get us pretty low, but that being said, we still have more board control. gonna hit us in the face and he needs to do six more damage before we can potentially kill him. He's got a spell. No. What do you got buddy? He can put out taunts if he wanted to. 
with his hero power, which would be pretty good against what we're doing right now, except for Dr. Boom, maybe. Attack when your opponent has six or more cards in hand. He does not right now. Six, four, seven, seven, two bombas. Looks like he's trying to decide who he wants to hit with a spell here. He's going to recycle the Yeti. All right. It's not exactly the worst thing that could have happened on that turn. Probably not even bad. We get to put out the. Dr. Boom, and we have really good board control as long as he can't do six damage to us. I think we actually like one short of lethal. With the hero power, probably have lethal. Blingtron, he's gonna fish for a weapon that could kill us, and he doesn't get it. Two plus two, that's only four damage. We only get a Light's Justice, which. Probably the most useless thing that we have. And four health, what's he gonna do? To try to kill us, does he have anything? Does he have another spell to recycle that in? Probably glory to the minion when he attacks. Restore four health to your hero. So basically we're not gonna attack with that. Each minion not going to do that. There's four plus seven. We could take a chance on that. I'm going to trade this into him. Trade again. Hit him for the 13. Let's do our hero power. Only hits the Boomba once, or the Blinktron. So we do seven plus four. That would not kill him. Could return that to our hand. Which I think I'm going to do. Use the hammer, hit bling turn on. And deal four damage to him. He might be able to kill us with the hero power and the mace, depending on what he does, I'm not sure. If not, we win. I don't know if he dis oh that's on death rattle so he can't heal it unless he has something with charge or something or a spell. Otherwise we do potentially win as long as he doesn't have something that'll give taunt to. Just have to wait and see what he can do. So you have three cards, and not. It'd be easier if I knew it was in the deck, but. I don't think he really has anything that could kill us on this turn. And like one, one, he's gonna make that a five card with my shield and taunt. Which if we do hero power. Antique Killbot's nice. Use Antique Killbot, play the Blast Mage. That'll put us out of lethal range. Get that down to four, and he concedes. And there we go, it's our first victory. Able to win as Boombot, and continue on and hopefully get an Annoyatron match here. It's a pretty good win, not as good as the one that I had on the, um, the one that I did before recording where, there we go, get an Annoyatron. It seemed like I was outmatched, but I was able to use a uh, Bouncing Blade on Gazrilla and bring it up to a 90-some attack. And finish the match before I could die. Power of Glory, whatever many attacks. I'm gonna keep the Power of Glory. And get a Nomergon Infantry. And coin out the Micro Machine turn one as long as he doesn't have something else. He can use, and then we can use that on turn two. Give it Taunt and Divine Shield, or else we could hide behind the Taunt Wall. Kind of afraid of the hero power taking it out, though. If he wants the hero power here, it's not the worst thing that could happen to us, and he isn't able to kill it, and we get an extra turn of buffing up the Micro Machine that we're gonna give Divine Shield to. Could have put out the Anodized Robocub, but. 
I prefer to keep the micro machine alive an extra turn. This gives it a higher chance with that, but it does not keep him alive. It does take up the first couple of his turns though, and we're going to do a Robocub with 3 health. Then if we put the Technician, he'll get the buff. Alternatively, we can do the Infantry, not big on, or else a Flying Machine, which I'm also not really big on. Unless we're low on health, then we could use that. Then it would be good. That out. Get a Time Rewinder. Just hit him because he's going to have to go through our cub to get to any of our other minions. And whenever you summon a mag team, Divine Shield is actually pretty decent for us. The bomb Lobber is not what we're looking for there. That being said, give this guy out. Do we give him? Yeah, I'll give him Blessing of Might. Kill that off. Yeah, that's a way to potentially close or clear the board for us. Unless he uses Hero Power. And is able to hit him. Okay, harvest Golem. Alright, and. He's gonna use that, and he's gonna get hit. Alright, we got a couple of Wind Fury creatures, which. don't really want to use. Turn out we have the Cobalt Guardian, which is not good here. Unless we can give it Divine Shield and, start, and Taunt to start out with. I'm going to put both the Wind Furies out there just to hopefully keep them alive. We'll probably end up killing them though. Yeah, we'll do that. Very good for him. And bring out Dr. Boom. So, so far, not doing the greatest on the Noyatron. We'll put out the Ogre Ninja. And get him to shield and top. And we could do Power or Glory on him. At least the stealth means the Boombots aren't going to be traded in, but we are pretty far behind right now. The King's Defender. I give him that. Can I do King's Defender and no, I gotta do this. Redivine Shields the Ogre. Alright, that's not what we wanted to happen. Then kill that or hit him in the face. Still have a Divine Shield with Taunt. I was hoping the Divine Shield and Taunt would go on the Cobalt Guardian, but they're the same. Alright, so Divine Shield ends up not being worth it, and it looks like we lose here. Yeah, we do. Oh, so, well. It looks like I'm better at the Boombot than Noyatron. At least from what I've played. But, let's see here. I want to give it another match. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play another one. Go in for a third, maybe get an Annoyatron win, or else play another game as a Boombot, or else lose another game as an Annoyatron, which hopefully we won't. And we'll see here what we can do this time. And then with the opponent, world class pasta eater. And we're Boombot again. Alright, I enjoy playing Boombot more than the Annoyatron. Hopefully go second. I don't want any of these. I don't really like the explosive sheep and I don't want the other three. The sheep might have been decent to start out with. So twisting Nether could be good and then a couple spells here to clear the board. We are going second but there's not really anything until turn four that would be worth putting out with the coin. Hopefully draw on some more good minions here. And hopefully he doesn't have a turn one play, which I don't think he has. Light bomb. Just pass over to him. At least we have the hero power that potentially could take something off the board if we need to. 
and don't want to use a dark bomb, but he does not have anything. Fortunately, neither do we. We're just going to do two damage to him. And see what he can play here. Hopefully nothing too bad. I don't think there's really... Yeah, no more guy infantry. I'm not really afraid of it all. Put out a mech yeti next turn. That's a really good counter to it. That's also good, but... Don't want to waste it. Coin out a mechanical yeti and pass over to him. There's a brewmaster. Turn a friendly minion into the, from the battlefield into your hand. Could be good, depending on what we can get. If we can get Dr. Boom and just continually put Boom Bots out there, it might be. Actually, with that mana cost, it probably wouldn't be that good for us. Cognhammer. Battlecry, give a random minion, Divine Shield, and Taunt. Oh, it's 4 1 with Divine Shield and Taunt. Be able to bring him down to 2 or 3 and hit him in the face. Alright. I am going to use this, hopefully get rid of the shield, and we do. He's got that, so I don't really want to put the Wind Fury creature out. Go ahead and hit him. If he wants to trade into that, he can. Otherwise, we'll just put out the Wind Fury guy. Either way, one of them survives, and it is good for us. He'll probably kill the Wind Fury and let the Yeti alive. Because it's 6 damage as opposed to 4. And he'll be taking less to the face. And he kills it, or he could save it and try it out. Yeah, he's gonna kill the Yeti and hide behind the spider mech. Which we could kill if we wanted to, and there's nothing really on the board that I'd rather do as long as one of these hits and it does. Use a flame cannon and hit him for six. Bring him down to 13. Nothing on the board and only one swing on his weapon, which we'll probably use to clear our board. He does. There we are, blank. Only we have an 18 health advantage, and I think we might have a card advantage. Yeah, we do by one. We're a nice time reminder, though, so it's not really that great for us. He does have six cards in his hand, so the sapper would probably be pretty good here. And then Sit Spewer. Actually, just get this off the board. And put out the 6 4, and he's got to play a couple cards if he wants to get it down back down to 2. Yeah, back down to 2 damage, which hopefully he doesn't. Doesn't look like he will play as a Blingtron. Gets an Assassin's Blade, we get a Fiery War Axe. So he just potentially gave us lethal here. But he is going to freeze our dude and take away his Enrage. And hit him for 3. Alright. He's down to 8. We have 3 damage. Gadgets and Jouster. Could play Dr. Boom, which I'm thinking of doing just because it gives us a big minion. We don't need spell power to draw anything back into our hand. Put out Boom. And see if he has any good counter to Dr. Boom. Because even Dr. Boom is good against his hero power because he can take away his um, Divine Shield while only using a 1-1 Boom Bot and then potentially kill him with the bombs. Because we have a lot of ways to potentially do lethal next turn. And he will concede. So there we go. We go 2 for 3. Unfortunately we aren't able to get any wins as the Annoyatron, however we get a pair of wins on the boom bot and thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time.